Two Chairs No Waiting, episode number 178. Where is Mayberry? Two Chairs No Waiting is brought to you each week by the fine folks over at Weaver's Department Store. Weaver'sDepartmentStore.com. Drop by over at Weaver's and pick up something. I know there's somebody in your life who's going to like something from Mayberry, and boy, if you can't find it at Weaver's, you won't find it anywhere. Drop by over at Weaver'sDepartmentStore.com and check it out. Two Chairs No Waiting is also brought to you this week by the good folks over at Audible. You've got over 100,000 audiobook titles to choose from. If you go there and follow our link, uh, you'll be able to get to uh, brand new free audiobooks for 14 days. So drop by over at audibletrial.com slash two chairs. There's a link right on the Two Chairs No Waiting website, and you can get a free audiobook. I love listening to audiobooks. You listen to podcasts, you'll probably enjoy audiobooks as well. Folks, I'm Alan Newsom, your host for Two Chairs No Waiting, and it is great to have you with me. And uh, that Audible thing is uh, something I hadn't really pushed at all, but uh, you can get a 14-day free trial. You get a free book. You get to keep. You can cancel in that 14 days, and it doesn't cost you anything. You get a free audiobook. So if there's something you want to listen to driving in your car, grab a copy and uh, use our link there at audibletrial.com slash two chairs, and you'll be helping support the podcast at the same time. It's a win for everybody. <laughs> so, folks, where is Mayberry? You know, we've had, uh, over the last 177 episodes, we've gone into some very deep topics here on the Two Chairs No Waiting podcast. And I started thinking, you know, there there are a lot of people who come over to the imayberry.com website or to the Two Chairs No Waiting.com website and visit trying to find out an answer to questions. Well, a lot of the questions they've been trying to find out are not at the the uh, level of depth that we have sometimes looked into. Some of those people are just wanting to know, you know, where's Mayberry? So I thought we'd talk about that a little bit and try to learn just a little as we go through it. Now, Mayberry, North Carolina, is where it's located because it's in North Carolina. Now, a lot of folks don't know that because it wasn't mentioned very often on the show itself that it was in North Carolina. Unless you happen to have seen certain episodes, you wouldn't realize that. But uh, Mayberry is a fictional community. Oh, that hurts to say. Oh, <laughs> in North Carolina. There's not a real town called Mayberry in North Carolina. It was a setting for both the Andy Griffith Show and Mayberry RFD. And then, of course, it was a setting of the 1986 reunion TV movie Return to Mayberry as well. And it's said uh, by a lot of people, including Andy, that it's loosely, at least, based on Andy Griffith's hometown of Mount Airy, North Carolina. Now, and I have to tell you that I really believe it is very much based on that. Now, the, ta- the town's name, Mayberry, uh, was named for this fictional founder. Uh, but uh, historically, this was information I didn't know, and uh, hopefully some of you real hardcore trivia Mayberry people will be getting something new out of this. Historically, the word Mayberry is an ancient anglo-saxon origin and it's a locational name and it's a dialect variant of the place name maysbury it's m-a-e-s-b-u-r-y b-r-u-b-r-y i'm sorry maysbury of shafashire shire (laughs) i can't say it i'm not ancient anglo-saxon i can't talk like that anyway the purportedly, Andy Griffith chose the name himself of the fictional community for the television show of Mayberry. Now, uh, we've heard this from many sources, including Betty Lynn, who played Thelma Lou on the Andy Griffith show, that Andy chose the name Mayberry from the community of Mayberry, Virginia. Now, Mayberry is a real community in Patrick County, Virginia, that is located about 22 miles northeast of Andy Griffith's hometown of Mount Airy, North Carolina. Now, reportedly, Andy's mother grew up in the Mayberry, Virginia area. The uh, Mayberry Trading Post, which is still there, uh, was the home of Mayberry, Virginia's post office until it closed in 1922. And Andy and his father reportedly made many trips to the Mayberry Trading Post over the years. And Andy Griffith incorporated several community 
places and names from his childhood home into the Andy Griffith Show. The term Mayberry is mentioned also many times on other television shows like Cheers, House, Criminal Minds, How I Met Your Mother, Scrubs. I could go on forever on this. Uh, Griffith, however, told Larry King in 2003 that Artie Standard uh, was who thought up the name of Mayberry. He was one of the show's creators and writers. So there's a little bit of unsureness there as to which it could have been. Now, Mayberry had one traffic light, one traffic stop, I should say, that if you'll remember on the uh, on the pilot episode of the Danny Thomas show where he came to Mayberry, uh, Andy had uh, tried to give him a ticket for running a stop sign where there was no road. I don't know if you <laughs> if you can remember that or not, but that was it. Uh, the out of town bank robbers, scam artists, escape convicts, and vagrants they occasionally found their way to Mayberry, and uh, the county and the town of Mayberry share the same name and same jurisdiction. Dis- diction, the jurisdiction. So the police officers, Andy Taylor, was the county sheriff of Mayberry. So he was a sheriff of the town of Mayberry and the county of Mayberry therein, or however he did it. (laughs) The county of Mayberry, the town of Mayberry therein. And uh, so you got to remember that. A lot of people get confused on that about, you know, which was it. And why was the mayor always telling Andy what to do? Because he was a county sheriff. Well, if I had to guess, this was a small county, small area, and the town of Mayberry is probably by far the largest area town in Mayberry County Uh, it's pretty obvious since we don't know of any other towns in Mayberry County Uh, so basically if you were the sheriff of Mayberry the town and the county the city of Mayberry was kind of your your home that's where you're going to be told a lot what to do now that's that's just the way it was and we learn in uh, episode number 44 uh, Sheriff Barney uh, from the mayor of Nearbell by Greendale that Mayberry County has the lowest crime rate in the state for two years in a row under Sheriff Taylor. Woohoo! Way to go, Andy. Howdy boy, Andy! <laughs> the town had only one long-distance telephone line, evidently, because as referenced in the episode Man in a Hurry, two old ladies shared the phone each Sunday and prevented anybody else from using it. <laughs> so there was only one phone line getting out of town. At least that's what we're told. So, yeah, if you haven't seen Man in a Hurry, please go and watch that episode. I absolutely wonderful episode. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. Now, many folks would say that, uh, there, well, there are a lot of towns in North Carolina that claim to be the original Mayberry, but uh, really it was based loosely, at least, on Andy Griffith's hometown of Mount Airy, as I'd already said. He also indicated that nearby Pilot Mountain, North Carolina, which is also in Surrey County, North Carolina, where Mount Airy is, inspired the creation of the town Mount Pilot on the Andy Griffith Show. So, you know, we, we know that. Now, Now Mount Pilot uh, is, a, well, a larger town in relation to Mayberry and often referred to occasionally if people are going to visit over at Mount Pilot. So it's, a, it's either larger or the same size. It's another town right there in the area. And I guess, you know, I never thought about it, but it could be in Mayberry County as well. But I always had the feeling Mount Pilot was not in the same county as Mayberry. So I have to check on that to make sure I'm right. Other place names on the show refer to other places in North Carolina, like Raleigh. So that's how we found out, really, some of the things that were clued in about where Mayberry was located because of this. They mentioned Raleigh. Uh, which is also talked about as being the capital city. They talk about Siler City and Charlotte. Uh, one of the show stars, Frances Bavier, who played Aunt B, when she retired, she retired to the town of Siler City. And it was mentioned on the Andy Griffith Show as well, that town. In episode 249, now that's a color episode, so a lot of you folks may or may not remember this, A Girl for Goober, the towns of Manio, and Toast are mentioned. Now, Andy Griffith retired to Manio, uh, North Carolina. So there's uh, another bit of trivia for you. And Toast is about two miles outside of Mount Airy and also in Surrey County. Uh, no, yeah, just out of Mount Man- uh, It's in Stokes County now. It, it borders Surrey County. Now, that was uh, 
th- there was a location mentioned, obviously, of Myers Lake in episode uh, 140. We can mention that's a good one to reference. But it's in Stokes County. So it's mentioned as being where Myers Lake's located. I didn't realize that. Uh, episode 62, Cousin Virgil. The bus stop uh, bus picks up Barney's cousin in Kirkut. I hope I'm saying that right, which is a county in northeastern North Carolina. Anyway, I could go on and on. There's Bannertown, Yancey, uh, Moorhead City. They, they talked about so many of these things that, uh, you know, in Opie's Fortune was where Bannertown was mentioned, where the man lost his $50 in his change purse, where Opie went and busted his uh, piggy bank. You remember that? So, anyway, these are these are all areas that are really in North Carolina, and some of those things were used to make the Andy Griffith Show even more realistic in our hearts so that we would uh, just, you know, enjoy the, the whole experience. So, anyway, where is Mayberry? Well, Mayberry is in North Carolina. That's where it's located. Now, I asked that question in the chat room to begin the show, and the first answer I got was from Colin. He said, where is Mayberry? It's in our hearts. And I was like, oh, I have got to use that for the show. So that is exactly right. Where does Mayberry, where is Mayberry really? It lives in our hearts. So folks, I hope you enjoyed just a little bit of that history there of Mayberry and where it's located. And uh, I thought it was uh, real interesting. So I want to just thank you guys for uh, just being a part of that. And I hope you enjoyed it. All right, now we got some listener feedback. Woohoo! Some uh, episodes that we've uh, gone over lately. Now we've got some uh, voicemails, but we also have something coming in from I Mayberry Community. Now the I Mayberry Community, if you have not dropped by there, it's at I Mayberry Community dot com. Drop by over there. We got about three hundred people in there at uh, that location now, starting to visit and have fun and chat. The chat room that we're in tonight is located at uh, Barbershop Chat there at the I Mayberry community. And you can also get to it by going to live.twochairsnowaiting.com. It's the same location. But the I Mayberry community.com is really picking up and folks are really starting to enjoy their stuff. Now, one of our recent episodes was about uh, the top five episodes to get somebody hooked on the Andy Griffith show. Now to refresh your memory, I said the loaded goat, Barney's sidecar, uh, this is in order. Number five, the loaded goat. Number four, Barney's sidecar. Number three, mountain wedding. Number two, the pickle story. And number one way to hook your friends on the Andy Griffith show was convict at large convicts at large. Now we got a voicemail in from Larry Granger. Now, Larry's uh, got some other things he wanted to add to my list of top episodes. So, here, Larry. Hey, Alan, this is the untrained voice just popping in the barbershop here to see if there's a chair available. I wanted to comment on your um, five episodes to to get people hooked on the show. I can't really disagree with the five that you had, but to me, you've got to go with one of the very memorable funny scenes with either Barney, Goober, or Otis. And so I agree with what some said about uh, Andy Discovers America, where Barney does a preamble. I think Barney and the Motorcycle, or one of the ones where Barney sings, really fits in that category. I think also with Gomer, uh, you've got either a date for Gomer or Citizen's Arrest. I mean, how many times do I, do I run across a casual fan who I mention the Andy Griffith Show, and they go, Citizen's Arrest, Citizen's Arrest. You know, there, there are just some memorable things like that with, uh, with Barney and Gomer in particular. And I noticed that none of your five had Gomer in it. And then there's always a good uh, Otis episode. I think more of us um, regular fans more appreciate the man in a hurry and and the bird man and all that after you get to know the show. But to get them hooked, we got to get them hooked with that, uh, with that comedy. So that's my two cents. Appreciate the podcast, and have a May Merry Day, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, Joe, thanks so much for calling in. That's uh, That was from episode number 174. We're talking about getting hooked on Mayberry. Now, Joe Joe mentioned a lot of great episodes, and, and I'd said in that uh, podcast that there was so many episodes of the Andy Griffith Show that you could use to get somebody hooked, and I wanted to hear from you. And so the folks over at the iMayberry community, 
there's actually a forum post about this that I posted, and we've had several, several responses. And uh, from Sandra, she wrote in and said uh, she would agree with my one through three, but she wanted to add Aunt B, the warden, and the one with Bert Miller. Yeah, that would be good. Oh, those ringing doorbells. <laughs> that would be a great. Thanks, Bert. You can go. Oh, okay, I'll go on. Yeah, and uh, so that would be absolutely, uh, those are great as well. We had Andy on trial that was mentioned. Uh, Man in a hurry, of course. And, uh, you know, that's obviously going to be in there. Convicts at large. We, that was one I think I had picked as number one. The bank job. Oh, Opie the Birdman, where Opie killed the baby birds. That was a good one. That was by Brent. Brent wrote those in. And uh, Jeff Koontz, he wrote in over there and said uh, his number five would be uh, the new housekeeper. Number four was Opie the Birdman. Number three, Goober and the Art of Love. I believe uh, Joe would mention that one just a second ago. Number two, Convicts at Large. And number one, Man in the Hurry. Now, there are a lot more of these. Uh, Listed down through here, Andy's Andy the Marriage Counselor, Barney and Thelma Lou. Uh, pff, I think that's how you say that. <laughs> the Education of Ernest T. Bass, Sermon for Today. Man, there's just folks, you need to head over to imayberrycommunity.com and you'll be able to see all these, uh, all these suggestions there and leave your own. Join us over there. We'd love to see what you have to say about that episode as well as other episodes. Now, the last few episodes of Two Chairs No Waiting have been about Don Knotts. We had a, another call, and this is from Larry Granger. He called in about the Don Knotts interview. So let's hear from Larry. Hello, Alan. Larry Granger here again. I was listening to your podcast about Don Knotts, and I was reminded there may be some of your viewers that have never watched the interview that is posted on YouTube of Don Knotts by Emmy TV Legends. It's actually rather long. It's seven parts. I think it's probably about three hours total. But if anyone hasn't watched those, they really just need to go to YouTube and search Don Knotts interview. And it's, it's, it's just, they also did the same thing with Andy and, and Ron Howard. But in my opinion, the interview with Don Knotts is by far the best. Any Don Knotts fan will enjoy the interview. Keep it up, big guy. Thanks. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Larry. Thank you so much for calling in about that. And he's right. If you haven't watched those uh, interviews with Don Knotts, uh, they're absolutely amazing. It's very long. There's uh, five or six or seven parts, six or seven, I believe, uh, to the interview. Now, we'll have a link to the first one, and you can follow it over on YouTube as you go through. I'll have a link on the show notes for this episode, number 178, and you'll be able to get to those Don Knotts interviews over on YouTube. You definitely don't want to miss that. I'm also going to put a link to the I Mayberry community hooked on Mayberry information. Uh, so you'll be able to go straight to that forum entry. If you join over there, you'll be able to add your two cents as well. And uh, hopefully you'll do that. Now, folks, there's a lot of Mayberry out there on the Internet, and we'll be going over those the next several weeks, I believe. I'll try to point those out because it's a shame that there is so much Mayberry fun out there to be had here on the internet now if you're listening to the podcast you at least have some way of getting on the internet and i want to make sure you know about these we've been doing some of the stuff out here on the web for 20 years or so and still today i find people going i didn't know this existed so folks it's up to you you're going to have to get out there and tell one of your friends i want to challenge you tell one of your friends about i mayberry community or i mayberry.com Either one, whatever, or the podcast, but tell them about it. Share some of the Mayberry love. I know some of you do it and some of you don't, but I want to just encourage you, share it with just one person or two people and just see if you can't get some folks interested because I think if they knew about us, about all the Mayberry stuff that's out there and people like you that is listening to this show, I think they're going to enjoy getting together and visiting and having a good time. And that's part of what the I Mayberry community is, but it's also part of what this podcast is about, is sharing that just fun of Mayberry. And I hope you guys will join in on that. Well, hey, we're we're about to the end here, so uh, you know I want to hear from you. You can email me at floyd at imayberry.com. You can call me at 888-684-8415, or you drop by twochairsnowaiting.com and leave a message, or you can go by over at the uh, – the fan page at facebook and leave comments there too so it's facebook.com slash two chairs and while you're there 
drop by the the website or the page at facebook.com slash T-A-G-S R-W-C for more Andy Griffith Show fun from the Andy Griffith Show Rio Nutchers Club. Well, folks, I hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you next time on Two Chairs No Waiting, your Mayberry podcast. Bye, folks.